Hi, I'm Remy with the Me Time Network, and it's a new year, which means New Year's resolutions. So let me ask, how many of you have actually listed either losing weight, eating right, or getting fit as a resolution? Me too. <laughs> so I'm super excited to be here with Dr. Corey Probst from The Diet Doc because she is going to not only uh, share how we can stay on track with those resolutions, but more importantly, and this is big, is why we don't stay on track. And if we can get to the root of that, then that definitely is going to increase our chances for success. So, Corey, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Remy. Allowing us to come and crash your world <laughs> yes. headquarters here. And let's start with the big problem mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. Obesity is huge. This isn't just about people losing a few pounds. Mm -hmm. This is about an epidemic crisis that's going on. Mm -hmm. Obesity is huge. <laughs> and by 2030, about 50% of people will be obese. Wow. Not just overweight, but obese. Wow. And there are multiple factors that, that play a role and that influence, of course, whether we exercise and how we eat and why we eat. We have both the internal and the external factors. Mm -hmm. You know, like here in San Diego, it's restaurant week. And all of us are super excited about going out to a different restaurant every night and trying the food. And it's probably going to be very decadent and rich. Uh, you know, there's billboards everywhere um, that have really pretty <laughs> food on them. Um, you hear the commercials. You see the commercials on TV. You get the free smells from Jimmy John's. And so you're, you're in an environment that puts you in a position to just want to eat all the time, too. Mm -hmm. Add on the fact that so much, so many of us are they're busy. We're busy. Um, we're running to and from different places, and so we right. need easy. We need convenient. And guess what? There are plenty of fast food places out there for us to get food. And a lot of us don't know how to make wise decisions. It mm -hmm. may sound surprising. I'm actually, as long as I've been in this, still mm -hmm. surprised when people say to me, "Corey, I know what to do. I just don't do it." And then we sit down and we're looking at what they're actually consuming on a daily basis. And it's very obvious that they don't know what they're doing. Right. But so we have those external and environmental factors that we help, to pe help people to learn how to engineer. And then we have the internal factors. W you know, what sort of situation did you grow up with around food? How mm -hmm. was food used in your household as love, as comfort? And then we're dealing with the emotional eating issues as well. You know, right. we use, so many of us use food to avoid, mm -hmm. uh, to distract, to shove away uncomfortable emotions instead of learning how to be with them and use them as signals for what's important in our lives. Mm -hmm. So we do. We have those two, um, external and internal things that really contribute to the obesity problem. Right. So I'm guilty of all of the above, right? <laughs> and you guys have been doing this now for 20, over 20 years, over 20 years mm -hmm. right? You've helped thousands of people mm -hmm. all around the world. So in all of your experience, all of the data that's there, mm -hmm. you know, just in your, in, in your home here, what yeah. is the number one reason why people do not achieve their goals? You know, I think when we look at when we look at the obesity epidemic, when we look at the significant number of individuals who need to uh, change their nutrition and their lifestyles in a way that's going to be sustainable, most people are jumping on some sort of a quick fix, very rigid, meal plan driven, only eat this, never eat that sort of a plan. And so it's not geared towards their individual metabolisms, their individual lifestyles, mm -hmm. their individual food preferences, their individual tastes, right. uh, their individual family or work circumstances. Mm -hmm. So all of those factors have to play a role. And most diets are not getting the job done in terms of really influencing and taking into consideration mm -hmm. every one of those facets of a person's life. Right. Well, you know, food and 
and diet are a big struggle for me. Mm. And anybody who follows me on social media knows that I love to eat and I love food <laughs> and I eat out a lot and it's not healthy. And I actually feel like I'm contributing to this <laughs> epidemic because I post a ton of pictures yeah. on Instagram of yeah. everything I'm eating. And you probably have a ton of followers. Yeah, actually the restaurant started following me. There, there we go. <laughs> right, but yeah. people love food. Right. They and do. And here's the thing, this is what my struggle has been, is that when I see diet, yeah. right, mm -hmm. and when I see what's out there, when I see things that are related to point systems that mean, I know it's going to take work, right, but that it's going to be more work because mm -hmm. I'm having to count points, mm -hmm. or I think about bland food and mm -hmm. not enjoying flavors, mm -hmm. right? So um, a girlfriend of mine was kind enough to give me the your book, the 50 days to your best yes. life. And the one thing that, that drew me in immediately and got me excited to talk to you and how is this even possible, mm -hmm. you have a recipe in here, bacon cheeseburger casserole. Bacon, bacon and cheeseburger. And a cheeseburger all in one. How? how that's, is, that's heaven, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hey, yeah. Well, that's the thing is diet can be looked at in a number of different ways. Your diet to us is the way that you eat. Right. It's not a diet, it's your diet. Mm -hmm. I have a diet, you have a diet. And our diets are going to look different based right. on what we like. Mm -hmm. And so when we wrote this book, we really wanted to provide people with the ability to eat the foods they love. Right. That tastes really good. Right. You're not going to stick with anything that or adhere to it if it's not pleasurable. If you don't like it, same thing goes with exercise. Mm -hmm. You know, people have to find what they enjoy. Mm -hmm. So I love that you have found recipes in there that you you need to start taking pictures of them. Maybe. Yes, I do because we did make one of the fish recipes last night, and it you was did. delicious. Yes, awesome. yes, it was awesome. And the other uh, point that you make in here that mm -hmm. I don't think is touched on other types of books or programs, and it was it's huge for us at the yeah. Me Time Network, but it's the mental edge. Yes, it is about mindset. Yes. And that really having to shift mm -hmm. in order to achieve results, right? Mm -hmm. So tell us what the mental edge is. Yeah, the mental edge really focuses on the psychological and the motivational components mm -hmm. of goal pursuit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are so many factors that play a role in, to, in our ability to be consistent, to be persistent when we're moving towards something that's really important to us. Mm -hmm. So we're hitting on things like self-control, mm -hmm. willpower, motivation, commitment, mm -hmm. our ability to utilize our strengths and recognize what those are when it gets a little bit difficult. Mm -hmm. Because we all, we all have emotions, we have changes in mood, we face temptation, we're in situations that feel maybe a little threatening or more difficult. And so we have to learn how to navigate those situations and recognize that we can fall down and we can make a mistake, but to get back up quickly with a strong support system mm -hmm. is what's going to keep us on that very persistent and consistent path. I love that you guys said support system, that you guys offer that here, but um, another thing in the book in the back where mm -hmm. you have exercises yes, and where you talk about utilizing setbacks as an opportunity to learn to learn absolutely right? we pursue a goal when we feel slightly challenged right we wouldn't pursue it mm -hmm. if it wasn't slightly above our comfort zone mm -hmm. we would be bored that's when we tend to give up is when we're just kind of coasting mm -hmm. so what we've provided in this book is a step-by-step -step sort of guide to learn where our barriers are, how to utilize those barriers as a method of kind of scaffolding your skills mm. uh, to get better and better and more effective at getting up quicker mm -hmm. when we do make those mistakes because they're going to happen. So we, we learn to expect them. Yeah, that's great. So it's about expanding your capacity, Yes. right? Unlearning some maybe old behaviors, those right? old scripts. Mm -hmm. We have developing old new stories, ones. Yeah. absolutely that you we learn to become acquainted with. The old scripts that have written been written for us. Mm -hmm. Old scripts that we've written based on the different circumstances of our lives, and then learning how to 
review, revise, and write new ones for ourselves. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's talk about you. Okay. <laughs> you're obviously very, very passionate about it, which I yes. love because that means that you're really going to support us, right, yeah, in, our, in our goal of losing weight and mm -hmm. getting healthy. That's what drives me. Right. That's so it. what is it? Is that it? It's it. It's seeing individuals, let's see, unleash their capacity, mm -hmm. unleash their strengths, and become empowered in a way that they didn't know they were capable of. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love that. So let's talk about an event that you have coming up yes. um, soon mm -hmm. here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. You have these events all over the country, obviously, with your different centers. But Absolutely. this particular one that we get to attend yeah. is coming up. And tell us about it. Yes, it's Thursday, January 28th from 530 to 7 mm -hmm. here at our, our headquarters in San Diego. Um, it's it's going to be a really fun event. We're going we're going to have Cars Jars here. She's mm -hmm. a local vendor here in San Diego. She's going to be offering I really, love Cars Jars. I yeah, just saw them recently. Really yeah, fun, yummy, food. yummy mm -hmm. tasty treats. She makes things in mason jars. Very creative. Yeah. We actually had her at our grand opening and uh -huh. she's awesome. Um, I'm going to be giving a short talk on uh, the key mindset factors for sustainable goal success. Mm -hmm. We're going to be also addressing uh, how to maximize your metabolism to lose fat up to 50% faster. Mm. And then we have another individual from the community. Her name is Callie Corrigy from mm -hmm. the Center for Wholeness. And she's going to be discussing what she does as well and really kind of taking it in um, that wholeness direction, like in all facets of life, how do we bring all of this together to be our healthiest and have the best body and the best life? So Dr. Corey Probst has a special offer for our Me Time viewers. Yes. Right? And do you yeah. want to tell them about that? Yeah, I would love to offer anyone who sees this a complimentary consultation and you can contact me via email. My email is Corey, K-O-R-I, at thedietdoc.com, or feel free to call me. It's 858-935-9058. And we'll have all of that information listed on our website as well. And we thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And if you enjoyed this interview and you would like to share your struggles with weight loss and have us reach out to you either via social media or email, please make sure you comment below, like us, share this with everyone you know. We know that this is a huge, huge thing for a lot of people. So our mission here is to help as many people as possible. So thank you again. And remember, when you are challenged in life, Me Time is a solution. And make sure you visit us at metimenetwork.com. Thanks for watching.